Hey there, this is Erica from Ever Educating, and this channel is teaching tips, tools, ideas, and resources for college instructors or high school teachers. And you know, before I have done videos on Trello, the free project management app, I'll link that below. I have some free academic boards as well for Trello. But because people have been using my referral link, I do have some free months of the pro version, the gold version of Trello. And so I thought this video would be kind of my first response to trying out the pro version to see if, you know, what's different? Do I think it's worth it, right? So if you've been wondering, but you can't access it yourself, go ahead and watch this video and I'll show you, you know, my first response and whether or not it's gonna be a good idea for you seeing the differences between the free version and the gold version. So let's go ahead and look at my screen. All right, so you missed my initial reaction because the video did not actually record for some reason. But here again, I'm just kind of going here. I already, you know, logged in, you know, four months of free Trello gold because of the referrals. And so as you can see here, just for what Trello brings, so it's $5 a month or 45 a year. Um, and again, you can get 12 months free if you have 12 referrals. So there's means there's still eight left for me, right? And so once you are a member of Trello, you can just go to your account, get your referral link, and then if you recommend it to anybody, give them their, your link so that you can get free gold months as well. But what's included? Okay, so you have the mobile version and the free version and in the gold. In the gold though, you have three power-ups per board. And in my original video, right, this is what confuses me the most, the power-ups. Um, and then you have the custom background stickers and emoji. When I first did this, the custom background and stickers were not working like when I immediately became a member of the gold. It took like a, a few hours before it actually let that work. So just kind of an FYI, if it doesn't work originally, it, it will probably will work soon enough. Premium stickers, same thing. Uh, it took a little while for it to actually work. You get more uh, space for attachments. They can be bigger sizes. You can save your searches. And again, I haven't tried this yet. And then advanced automation. Another part that's definitely a bit confusing, I think in part because I don't use it in a way that requires a lot of automation, but it is a great function, especially if you're using Trello as part of a team or to manage a lot of projects for your business or whatever the case may be. So that's what the gold version offers. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and go to my board here. And so this is my daily life board, just kind of a summation of what's going on, what I have to do, what's coming up and all that. Uh, and so in this case, as you can see, I do have some stickers, right? That were not in the, the free version. So if you go to show menu here on the right, you can go ahead and click stickers and you see them right here. Okay, so you do have all the ones that comes with and you can also create your own custom stickers if you want to, using images you create, okay? So that's pretty cool, but that's that. You can also search, right? So maybe you're working on a project that you're writing, so you can just search for writing and see what pops up. And if something kind of interests you, you can go ahead and click and drag it onto the card. Right, so that is a pretty neat feature. If you're someone who really likes making your, your planner look pretty, right? You can kind of do that option here with these stickers and these gifts. Okay, so that's one thing. You can also do the custom background. Um, and so you can change background, click custom here, and again, choose an image from your computer. This is an image that I took of flowers um, in a backyard. So you can decide, I like the ones that are, are accessible through Trello itself. But that is another feature of the gold version, that change background right here. You can also search your cards, right? If you want to, you can label them, right? Search by labels. I haven't labeled anything here yet, but that's an option there as well. Um, again, the power-ups are a gold feature. You can have three power-ups per uh, board. You can get a limited, right, if you want to do the business version, but I don't need that. So one power-up that I did use, because it works on the desktop as well as the iPad, is a calendar power-up. So if I click on here and I say view power-up, it'll tell you exactly what this does, right? So it basically gives you a calendar view of your tasks that have assigned days, right? So that is one thing that you can decide to do is to do this calendar version. And so you see that right up here. So I can say calendar pop-up, power-up, and now it's in calendar view. You can see things that have been done already, things that have not been done. And again, you can kind of scroll down 
and see it as a calendar rather than as the different list. And you can do this by week or by month, depending on what you prefer. Okay, so that it is, I think, a really helpful power up to use um, to kind of get that that more common view of what your schedule looks like versus having it sideways in this way. Now, another thing that I noticed, if I do go ahead and add power up here, so there's a lot of these, but when I was actually kind of searching through them, again, a lot of them are like creating charts or like doing management of, of teamwork, which is not what I use Trello for. So I didn't want to bother trying those because I am limited to three. But there's also this element of you want to make sure that when you click on them, it tells you obviously what it does. If you click, it shows you, you know, all these different things. But you want to make sure there's some that I saw that's like, oh, try this for free for 14 days. So it seems that it doesn't actually let you use it for the whole time that you have the gold membership. It, it At least for that one, it was like, well, here's a 14 day trial. So I, I wouldn't actually pick one of these that isn't actually going to work through the whole time that I'm using the gold version. Okay, so it is helpful that it does have information on each of the ones that you might want to use, though not all of them are available on the mobile version. So if you look at the mobile version, it tells you what power ups are available. Um, if you use mobile the most, then you obviously want to rely on those. But the one on the desktop does have a lot more options. Okay, so again, I showed you the calendar one. There's a lot here. Um, a lot of them are design based, and then some of them are more like, again, looking at your projects in a different way. So I do think this is something you have to kind of take your time with and kind of click through and see which three do you really want to use for your board power up. Okay, because there are quite a bit of options, including actually just adding your Google Drive, right? Accessing it directly. This can be really helpful for an academic. So perhaps that one would be one because obviously Google Drive, you can just access for free. So it's not going to be a trial in that case. But it's just definitely something that you kind of just read through and see which one works for you. If you use Slack a lot for your work, then obviously that's a great one as well. The other main thing that Gold gives you is Butler. So you can find that up here. You can also find it here. And basically what Butler does is it creates automations or you can create automations for your different boards. And so let's get rid of the menu here. It gives you some tips and it bases off of what you're usually doing with different cards like here you generated a day ago based off of the actions I performed in the last two days uh, but what you do here is you can go to rules right and you can create a rule for what happens to the cards on your board right so it gives you some examples here when a card is created in the list to do add the steps checklist right and so you can kind of have this sense of okay well if I have a certain task that I do over and over again and it involves the same steps then what you can do is you can create that checklist and then create this automation. Anytime I add a card to the board called video creation, have the checklist attached to each new card, right? So every card is a video idea, then you have a checklist automatically versus having to type it over and over and over again. Okay, so this kind of gives you a sense of some ideas and then you just click create rule and then you start from the beginning. Okay, so what do you want to do? You're going to add a trigger. Right. So are you moving a card? Are you seeing a card changes somehow? Are you doing something that has to do with dates, checklists, right? And so on and so forth. So maybe you're going to do a checklist, right? Um, so when checklist and you have a certain checklist you create is added to a certain card by me, right? So when checklist and then the checklist is called video creation is added to a card by me. So I want to add that trigger. Okay, what are we doing? Right, then we're going to go ahead and add this same checklist, video creation, to the card. Right, so finds an existing checklist with that name on the board and copies it to the card. So you have to have one at least existing on the board before you can do this. Right. And so you can select a specific course uh, source called by clicking on the bullseye option and entering the card's name or link. Right. So you have some options here for how to find that checklist. And again, you click add and now it's curated after you save it. OK, so this, again, takes some time. It definitely is something that takes a bit of investigation to figure out, you know, how do you add these various triggers and actions? But again, it can be great if you're someone who does the same task over and over again and you want it to be automated in your boards. You, know, you can also something on the lines of, OK, you know, anytime I, you know, say this word in a card, put it into a certain list. 
right? Anytime this happens to a card, move it over here, right? So you can create these rules with the create rule button. And then down here, there's more specifics here. So maybe you want to create a button for a card, right? So it appears right on the back of every card. It performs the actions you most you do most often, right? So again, you know, when you join the card, add yellow in progress, right? And an empty checklist name to do. So maybe if you're doing something kind of group related, okay? Uh, when you move the card to list done and remove the card's due date when you use this button, right? And so again, you have create button and what exactly is it doing? So maybe it's move to done, right? Uh, so you can do go ahead and do that and then say add an action. You can change the icon image to whatever it is that you want. So maybe I'm gonna do a little check because it's done, right? And so you have this element here. So we're moving, right? Move the card to the top of done, right? So I add that, okay? And now, yes, that's what I want this button to do. Go ahead and save it. Okay, and it sees that it's been saved. So are you gonna enable it on all the boards in this team? Are you gonna share it with the team? I don't need to because I'm not doing anything team related. We're gonna end this here, right? And so now when I click on a certain card, I have down here, move to done. And so I click that and it will move it. Exit out. And as you see, it moved to the done. Right, so it does have this element that may be slightly easier. You know, I think just moving it, right, makes it, it's very easy. But if you like just click a card and have it moved, right, then maybe that's something that you can do faster. So that's an option for adding the card buttons to uh, your boards. There's also board buttons. So have something happen to your whole board can also be part of this uh, Butler automation. You can do things tied to the calendar, okay? Or you can do things tied to the due date. So again, from what I can tell, doing some experimenting, this is gonna take a lot of time to figure out because it's something that you can do so much with it, which seems to be really amazing, especially again, if you're on a team or you're doing some kind of project management business. But on you know it takes time to figure that out, right? Um, so if you're something who just use Trello for more simple tasks, then the automation is probably not going to be a huge thing for you. Uh, and so that leaves more of the power ups, whether or not that's worth it to you. And so again, if in your individual work you're creating a lot of charts or designing different things for your work, then maybe it is going to be helpful, right? Um, but if you know, and maybe just being able to connect to the Google Drive is enough to make this worth the $5 a month or $45 a year, right? Maybe you're someone who likes, again, like predefining your calendar, your planner, and you miss that in this digital version. Well, now you can add these stickers, add gifts, create your own stickers to add in so you can make it, you know, a bit more fun in that way. So maybe that's worth it for you. Maybe just having the ability to see it as a calendar, right? So you can see it this way, but you can also see it this way. Maybe that's enough to pay the $5 a month or 45 a year. So I do think, you know, first impression, it does seem to have a lot of value in it. But if you're someone who likes keeping it simple, I'm not sure if you would take the step of going to gold. Um, it might just be fine to just have it free, not have it as pretty, right? And just not have those power-ups and automation. One thing I want to note as well, so here's the mobile version. So on my iPad, the daily life board. And so as you can see here, all this different stuff. So I'm recording this before I add any stickers because I do want to see if the stickers actually show on the mobile version. But things on this, I did get the custom background to work. So if I wanted to, I can go ahead and edit it and edit my background and click from my uh, photo gallery, photos that I took but I actually like just the background that I found by going to the photos on actual Trello, but it does work here. So you can do the custom background here as well in this menu, you can do power-ups, but it does limit the power-ups that you, you can have. So I guess it seems that only these are the ones that work on mobile. So I did turn on the calendar power-up one. And so when you go here to the main menu page, you click calendar power-up and you see it as a calendar, as you can see here. So I have the month of March and then the dots on days where things are due. 
and you can see those listed here as well. All right, so it does seem that once you add the stickers and such on the desktop, it does show on the mobile version as well. So I'd be curious to hear your thoughts, uh, but that's kind of my, my review is amazing things available. And so if you need a complex Trello situation, definitely worth it. But if you're someone who likes keeping it simple, then other than prettifying it, adding the gold just makes it you have more tools that makes it a more complex system. So perhaps it would not be for you because it'd be too overwhelming to actually use. Are you going to try the gold or are you happy with the free version? I'd be curious to see.